What's up guys, this is Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're gonna to be talking about four drills that are gonna make you a faster wide receiver. Let's get started. Now, before we get into this video, fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you would like to train with myself and my staff of coaches this offseason, we are coming out to 15 different states across the U.S. for two-day-long QB and wide receiver camps. So check out that very first link in the description below if you would like to train with us. We are going to be coming out to San Francisco, California, Miami, Florida. Both of those camps are completely sold out, but then we'll be heading out to Las Vegas, Nevada, Charlotte, North Carolina, Portland, Oregon, Dallas, Texas, Nashville, Tennessee, Chicago, Illinois, Buffalo, New York. Then we'll be coming out to Houston, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Detroit, Michigan, Boise, Idaho, and Los Angeles, California. So again, if you guys would like some more information, want to learn how you can sign up, check out that very first link in the description below. Let's get started with these drills. All right, guys, so something that a lot of slow wide receivers lack is explosion in and out of their cut. So let's say, for example, I got a DB who's lined up like where this cone is. He's inside shade. Let's say I got to run like a 10-yard out, for example. I give him a move. I burst up. Let's say my break point's at this red cone. They'll cut, and when we cut, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to cut and push and drive out of the break. A lot of slow wide receivers lack that explosion needed to be able to push and separate from a DB. So this is a great drill to work on that. So it's a simple drill. You don't need a lot of space. You only need two cones for this. So what you're going to do is you're going to start out, let's say, on your right foot. What we're going to do is we're going to jump straight up in the air, try to get as high as we can off of my right foot. We are jumping off the ball of my foot. So we're going to jump up, and as soon as we land, we're going to push out to the left foot. As soon as your left foot lands, you're going to jump, push up, land again, push out, push up, and then stick it. So it's a three-part movement. So it's up, land, push out, up, land, push back, up land and hold. So I'm going to show you guys how this thing should look full speed. The reason why we do this drill is to get us comfortable with that push and that explosion right when my foot hits the ground, similar to what I have to do when I'm running a route like a post route, like an out route, or what have you. So again, I'm going to show you how this drill is going to look full speed. <laughs> All right, guys, so another thing that slower wide receivers lack on routes like hitches, curls, comebacks, how do you, like, let's say, for example, I got to run a comeback route at this orange cone, and let's say I'm 15 yards downfield. What do I have to do in order to get out of the break? I have to drop my hips, right? So when I get to this cone, I got to drop down, I got to snap down, get low so I can make a sharp cut. So something that a lot of slow wide receivers lack is that explosive hip drop. I call it a violent hip drop. Now, the reason why you want to be violent is the more energy that you could create at the top of the break leads to acceleration out of the break, which is how we could get more separation from a DB. We want to be fast into my break, selling vertical, but we also want to be fast out. And how I set up that speed out of the break is by being violent. So I call this drill a violent hip drop drill. So same deal. You only need two cones. You don't need a ton of space. You need two cones that are maybe three yards apart. Both of these drills that we've gone over today are drills that you can do in your room. I know across the country, it's getting very, very cold right now in a lot of places. And these are drills that you can do inside that are easy to work on your route running and speed. So what we got here, I call this high knee hip drop. So you're coming out high knee violent hip drop. So set go, we're coming out, we're going high knees. We were trying to get my knees up to my chest, moving my hands and my feet as quick as possible. I want as many reps in between these two cones as possible. So we're going up here. As soon as you get to this cone, we are going to have a violent drop. Pretend somebody got a string on your chin and pulled the string straight down. Musical chairs, maybe. That's something I tell my wide receivers. Music stops, you drop. Chin goes to my knee or chest goes to my quad, and I'm holding my legs in a 90-degree position. Then you're going to flip back. Got the same thing going the other way. High knees, high knees, drop right at the cone, 90 degrees of my legs, like somebody pulled the string and we were dropping down as violent as possible. So I'm gonna show you how this drill is gonna look full speed. Great drill to work on the explosive hip drop that we need at the top of the round. All right, guys, so another thing that slower wide receivers lack out of their breaks or out of their releases is the ability to separate from a DB by keeping their head down and running. You know, guys, honestly, as a receiver, there's so much emphasis put on speed, but you don't have to be the fastest guy on the field at all times. You just have to know how to use your speed wisely, right? Yes, being fast as hell like Tyree Kill, that absolutely helps. But there are things that you can do if you're maybe not on the faster side of things technique-wise that can still help you separate. So this drill is going to be called falling starts, and it helps with wide receivers keeping their head down after a double move or a release. So let's talk about the situation first, and then I'll show you the drill. So let's say I got a guy Let's say I'm on the 40-yard line, and we're going in. So we're like the opposite 40. So like we're on the opposite side of the 50, we're going into the end zone. So say I got press coverage, DB inside shade. I give him a move. This is where a lot of receivers go wrong. They give a move, 
And then they look back right away because they think they got the guy off the release. When you are running with your head tilted back like this, guess what? You're automatically going to be slower than a DB. That DB is like, oh crap, I got beat. I'm going to put my head down and try to recover. So if we're running like this, we're giving him a chance to recover. You get separation, I want to keep separation. So when I give a move and I come off the ball and I give a move, I want to keep my head down. Especially if I'm on the opposite 40, I want to keep my head down for like 10, 15 yards. So we got to make sure that when I do keep my head down, I accelerate. I'm in a position to accelerate and widen the gap with the DB. So that's what this drill works on. So all you're going to do, you're going to stand here, simple drill. You only need about 10 to 15 yards of space to work this. But you're going to be here, you're going to stand up on your tippy toes, and you're literally going to just fall forward. Like your chest is almost parallel to the ground. When you feel like you're going to fall, we're going to explode off and take off on a sprint. Focus on driving my knees, focus on being powerful with my arms, just like how I would be off the line of scrimmage with a release. So I'm going to show you how this drill is going to look full speed. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is another drill to help wide receivers with explosion and push out of their cuts, but also this helps you with speed off the ball. Like I said, you don't have to be the fastest person on the entire field, but we got to be able to use my speed correctly, right? Even if you have just a little bit of speed, you have to be able to use it correctly. So coming out of your wide receiver stance, we have to be able to explode off the ball, especially from a college coach perspective, high school coach perspective. When you're scouting talent for the receiver position, you are looking for speed and explosion off the ball. So this drill can help with that. So I call this a kneeling push start. So what you're going to do, you need one cone again. Don't need a ton of space. We only need about 10 yards of space on this. But we are trying not to take a false step, right? So you guys are going to be kneeling down like so. You're going to have your left foot up. All we are going to do, and you're, obviously if you switch sides, you're going to have your right foot up. But let's say my left foot's up. All we are going to do on a go call or at your own pace, you are going to push off of this left foot, open up your hips, and explode. What we want to try to avoid is my front foot doing this. I don't want to step and then go. Because that step is like a false step off the line of scrimmage. Where a wide receiver's lined up, they say go, quarterback says go, they take a false step, and that makes them slow off the get off. So this is a great drill to eliminate a false step and make you faster off the line as a wide receiver. I'm going to show you how this is going to look full speed. <laughs> All right, guys, really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. Always appreciate the feedback. It's always great to hear from you guys. And again, fellas, if you would like to train with us this offseason, we are going to be coming out to 15 different states across the U.S. for two-day long QB and wide receiver camp. So again, fellas, if you want some more information on how you can train with us, check out that very first link in the description below. We'd love to have you out to one of our off-season training camps. I'll see you guys next time.